These people standing around are witnesses of the power of Jesus Christ. They're witnesses of what God is doing in the lives of many people in the UK. We have former homosexuals that are here, former thieves, former adulterers, former womanizers, and, and uh, all sorts of people standing in these ranks. And this is a testimony that God can transform any person that accepts the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding, I, I just, I see people walking by, I see eyes, but I also see people that are inquisitive, looking in, and saying, what is this that these people are talking about? Are they just crazy? Really? Did they lose their mind? What is it about these people that would make them stand on a street corner and hold a microphone and tell people about God. I'm going to tell you what it is. It's the same thing that makes you stand up for the things that you believe in. When you go to a football, a, bat, a baseball game, a soccer game, or a football game, that's what you call it, everybody's cheering, screaming. When it's football season, people are posting up things about their favorite football team wearing football jerseys, walking around saying, did you see the game? Who's gonna win? Standing in the bars, watching the game, watching the UFC fight, who's the greatest fighter? You advertise the thing that you believe in. You wear their shirts, you market. I see people wearing Nike bags and Nike shoes and, and, and Adidas. And you're, you're basically marketing and speaking out and sharing the very values and the very products that you believe in. And it's the same thing with a Muslim. What does a Muslim do? If you're a Muslim lady, she wears her hijab because she believes in her faith. Or what does a Muslim man wear? One who's practicing the Sunnah of Muhammad. He wears his beard because he's advertising his faith. He believes in what he believes. He shares it. He's public about it. But one thing I see in the UK is those who claim to be of the Christian community are afraid of people knowing that they're Christian. People are afraid to advertise their biblical beliefs. They don't want anybody to know that they're Christian. They're, they're being marginalized today. They're, they're being forced out of the mainstream and because of this, they want to hold on to their jobs, hold on to their position, their reputation, for fear that people will criticize them and say all manner of evil against them. But isn't this what happened to Jesus Christ? In fact, Jesus said, bless those who persecute you and revile you and throw your name in the mud. Bless them. Bless them. In fact, it happened to Jesus. It happened to the real prophets of old. The real prophets of old were stoned. The real prophets of old were thrown to the cross. The real prophets of old were persecuted and discriminated against and not accepted in the mainstream. In every generation, it happens to be the same thing. The churches today don't want to hear the true and unadulterated word of God. We don't want to hear the standards of God in our churches anymore. Our communities don't want to hear the truth of what God has to say about morality, about truth, about God, about Jesus. We would rather compromise. We would rather say, well, you know what? It's just my personal opinion, but it's not a fact that Jesus is the only way. But there are few there are few people in this city, in the Barking area, in London, that still believe in Jesus, that still believe in the Word of God, and they're unashamed of Jesus. And what you're seeing here is a cloud of witnesses, witnesses of the truth, witnesses of the redemption of Jesus, witnesses, people that have been touched by the gospel. And I'm here to tell you today, that you can experience the same power that these people are experiencing in their lives. You can hear and know the voice of God. 
and know that he walks with you. You can also understand the power of God and be used as a vessel of God if you would open up your lives to Jesus Christ. He is calling to all people, but only few will be chosen. He's knocking at the door of your heart, but only few will accept it. Jesus says light has come into the world, but men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. How many evildoers are out there in the world today? Evil doesn't plague only Christians. It doesn't only plague those of London. It plagues every nationality. All around the world, evil is reigning. We see corrupt leaders in Saudi Arabia, corrupt leaders in the United States, corrupt leaders in the UK, corrupt leaders, corruption in the homes. We see sexual depravity and debauchery and lies and all sorts of wickedness in every nation and also in every religion. Every religion on the face of this planet has problems because people have problems. If people have problems, the leaders will have problems. And if the leaders will have problems, the followers will have problems. But there's one person that overcame all problems. And it was Jesus. The only prophet, the only person, the only leader that has walked on this planet and overcame every single problem, overcame every temptation, overcame every trial and is with the Lord today, with God today, seated at his right hand is Jesus Christ. He is the only one. The only person is Jesus. Do you think I'm lying? If what I'm saying is true, if it's only Jesus that overcame all problems, then you need Jesus in your life. It makes common sense. Think about it. If I had a problem in my life, I, I would go to somebody that has the answers to my problem. If I had a sickness, I'd probably go to the doctor because I believe in my heart that the doctor has the cure to my problem. If I had an issue with my car, I would go to a mechanic because I don't know anything about cars. So I would go to someone who can fix my car, who has greater knowledge than me. And if what I'm saying is true about Jesus Christ, if he is the only one that overcame every problem, then when I want to overcome a problem, I would go to Jesus Christ. Now you might say, well, why don't I go to God? Well, the same question I have for you. Why do you read a book? Why do you go to your prophet? Why do you do what they tell you to do? Why don't you just tell what God said to do? Because you're going to tell me, well, God told that person what he wanted. I'm here to tell you today that Sorry, Jesus Christ nice revealed what God wanted. Hold this up. Spoke what God wanted. Manifested the glory of God. Oh dear. So yes, God. Is that a pen? Oh, let's hold that. There's a good chance I might. Because usually when I get on a plane, I'm like, I have to have a pen. You have to have a pen. <laughs> Whereas I'm the opposite, I always forget my pens. Me too, but not this time. Oh, wow, thank you very much. Okay, I'll bring it right back. Okay, language. Thank you. I think it's the speaker itself, Pastor. Hey, I brought an extra battery. Oh, you have an extra one? An extra Bose battery? Yeah. I brought a screwdriver too. Oh, you have a Bose too. Man of God. There we go. We got another Bose. Oh, man. That should be a new Bose advertisement. You should have saw your face. You should have saw your face. <laughs> it's like, you got a Bose too, man of God. I, uh, I just saw him walking by. Look at it. He's here somewhere. Check, 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 one, two. Hey, Joseph. Believe it in your heart. Joseph. All talk, no action. 
Do you like recording? Do people, huh? that's no you like recording? You want me to record? Not recording. living in community, I that's no action. Living in sin, that is no action. Division, discord, rage, anger, all talk, no action. Now a lot of people criticize preachers. Say, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, here's what I have to say to those people. Let me see you live the life that you want everybody to live. And see how well you do it. Yeah, this is CFM London. We're embarking. Glory be to God. We Hallelujah. We criticize people, but we can't live it ourselves. Am I right? Oh, yeah. I'm here to tell you something. Jesus said, there's coming a day of judgment. He's going to judge the living and the dead. Jesus hates hypocrites. Jesus said he's going to judge the hypocrites. The question is, are you one of those hypocrites? Sometimes the greatest hypocrites in the earth are the very people that point the finger. We got to be careful. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Now here's the thing, what causes problems on this earth? What causes problems in Barking? What causes problems in Leicester Square, Kent, Oxford, Stratford, all around the world, what causes problems is one thing. It's your sin. Sin causes the problem. Sin is the problem. The only thing that can solve your sin problem is a redeemer from sin. It's somebody that can deal with your sin. That's the only, that's the only thing. Now, how do you deal with your sin? Well, it does take knowledge to deal with your sin. You have to know that sin is unrighteous and ungodly. You have to know something if you're going to deal with your sin. How are you going to deal with your sin? Well, you need to know that it is sin, that it is wrong, and it's causing problems in your life. But you also need somebody to deal with your sin, bring forgiveness from your sin, and give power over your sin. You need that kind of person in your life. Who can do that but God alone? God can give you power over your sin. God can forgive you of your sin. And God is the only one that shows you the problem with your sin. It's religious texts like the Word of God that mirror and show you clearly right from wrong. Now you might say, I don't need the Word of God to show me right from wrong. Our conscience also shows us what's right and wrong, but the problem with our conscience is this. Our conscience is sneered. Our conscience is weakened by deception. And so we need a standard of truth, the word of God. You have a problem with me. What's your problem with me? You want to share your problem with everyone? What's your problem with me? I believe it's just a fucking cult. You know me? Do you know me? Do you know me? Okay, we, we, can, we, can, we can both... Okay, we can both talk over each other. Okay, listen, we can both talk over each other. Why do you have to share your beliefs with me? Why do you have to So why do you have to scream at me? Belief comes to be inside. But why do you have to scream at me? Inside. Why are you? If, if it's inside, why are you talking? Why, do you have to it? why, are, you, why are you talking then? Why are you telling me? Then why are you talking? Then why are you talking? You're talking your beliefs. Okay, that's that's wonderful. I'm I'm from I'm from the planet Earth. I'm from planet Earth. No, 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 that's that's fine. No, that's fine. That's fine. I'm from planet Earth. I'm from planet Earth. You're from planet Earth, yeah? But I belong to the kingdom of God. No one's here, Bob. Oh, you are. No one's You're still here, right? Go to little church. You're still you're you're still here. You're still here. Okay. If you think I'm a cult, what are you? Look at them. What are you? They're all fucking. But what are you, sir? Don't touch me. 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 Listen, I could do something, but the problem is, is what God's gonna do in your life. It's what God is gonna do. No, no, it's okay. It's what God's gonna do. You're gonna stand before God and you're gonna be judged. You're gonna be judged and sent right to hell because of your actions, because of your cursing and your anger on the inside. I, I know a lot. 
But you know what? I know that you're angry, and I know that there's demons inside of you, and I know that you have no peace inside of you because you're rejecting Jesus Christ. You're rejecting the truth. You're rejecting. So the real cult is the one that's holding you in bondage. The devil is holding you in bondage, and you don't want to be set free. And I'm here to talk to you today. There's, that, there's a reason why you're here. There's a reason why you're here. Because something on the inside of you is telling you that something we're saying is true. That's why you can't walk on by. You know it, and that's why you're angry. Something is touching at your heart. You know the truth. And the truth will set you free. If you accept the truth, it'll set you free. I don't know what you've been through. You may have been traumatized. Or abused. I don't know what you've been through. But you know where God is? Right here. Right here. Right here. And he wants to reach out to you. He wants to make a message out of your mess. He wants to change you and use you. He wants to do... Listen, I was in jail many times. You're not talking to some punk. I was a thug on the street just like you. I went through a lot of stuff just like you. So don't think you're talking to some punk on the street. You're talking to someone just like you, but God set me free. You think I don't know streets? I know streets, but God set me free from the streets. You think I don't know problems? I had much problems. I had a broken family. I was all over the place doing drugs and alcohol with a bunch of women, but God set me free. All of us, he was ex-homosexual. He was an ex-homosexual. I went through much stuff, but God took my mess and made it into a message. You can do the same thing for you. There's hope for your life, brother. We're not, here. We're not here because we hate you. We're here because God loves you, man. You're a somebody. You're a somebody. You need to know that today. Why don't you just receive the love? I don't know what you've been through, but receive the love, man. I suck, but God loves you, man. What's your name? My name's David. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, the reason why you're here because God's not giving up on you. God's not giving up on you. Would you listen, listen. This is what I did when I was 16. I accepted Christ in my life. I heard about the love of God and I accepted it. It wasn't an easy road, but I accepted the love of God. Would you just like to try it? Give, give Jesus a chance. Try it, man. Try it, brother. Would you like to try that? Say, say, this, say this prayer with me. Just say Jesus. Just say Jesus. Just say Jesus with me. I need you in my life. Come into my heart. I believe you died on the cross for me. Change me. I want your love. I want your strength. And I thank you. In Jesus' name. Glory to Jesus Christ. You know what the Bible tells? You know, you know what the Bible says? God's not remembering your sin in the past. He started something in you today. I'm, I'm not lying. The Word of God says it. The Word of God says it. Talk to these guys. Talk to these guys. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the power of God. That's the power of God. Hallelujah. God can transform anybody. And I know there's some people here today that are wondering, what, what is this stuff going on? You think it's a bunch of cult stuff, mumble jumble stuff? God is changing prostitutes, changing robbers, changing car thieves, changing homosexuals, changing thieves and, 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 and liars. And He loves the uttermost. My question is, does your God reach out like my God? Does your God love like my God? No. Does he? No. Never. Show me a God that reaches out like my God and I will believe. But there is nobody else no, 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 no. that loves like my God. Listen, I'm not making up stories here. This is the word of God. It's found in your Quran. It's found in the Torah. It's found in the Bible about the love of God found in Jesus Christ. It was prophesied that Jesus would come. It was prophesied that he alone would be the Messiah. Do you know that there is no other person in the Quran named Messiah but Jesus? Did you know that? Of course, you say, yeah, of course, I believe Jesus is the Messiah. But what does that mean for you? Why is there no other Messiah? Why, why, why wasn't David, Dawood, the Messiah? 
Why wasn't Mo Moses, Musa the Messiah, Ibrahim the Messiah? Why are none of these other people called the Messiah? There's a reason. Come on, use your brain. Only one prophet in the Quran with a last name, and that doesn't that doesn't that doesn't make you your mind think a little deeper. And say, wait a second. Why does Jesus is the only one in the Quran with a last name called Messiah, and nobody else is called the Messiah? What's so special about Jesus? Why was he born of a virgin and nobody else? Why did he live a sinless life? Where Adam, yes, he had no father and mother, but he sinned. Why didn't Jesus sin too? Why is it that Jesus did miracles that no other prophet could do? But why is Jesus taken up to God, to God in heaven when all the other prophets are dead in the grave? Why was Jesus so special? Why is all the debate around one person? The debate's not about Muhammad. The debate's not about Abraham. The debate's not about Moses. The debate's about Jesus. Why all these debates about Jesus? Some people believe he's the son of God. Some people believe he's a prophet. Some people believe he's an angel. Why is everybody confused about Jesus? Because Jesus was so unique and special that you can't, you can't put him under a microscope. There's something different. It's, it's like when you think about God. What do, you, what do you say about God? You think, well, God is he's loving, but... But you can't put God under a microscope. You, you can't figure God out. What's interesting that, that you can't figure Jesus out. Because we know that Jesus was a prophet. But there's something more than a prophet about him. We know that Jesus was a man, flesh and blood. He went to the washroom. He did everything that we did. But there's something different about Jesus. You can't put your finger on it because Jesus himself was a miracle. Jesus is a miracle. And we serve a miracle working God. We serve a God of wonder. We serve a God that's beyond our comprehension. And the God beyond our comprehension tried to make sense or make us or give us understanding of this incomprehensible being through Jesus Christ. We understand the incomprehensible through the word of God, which is known as Jesus Christ. Doesn't even the Quran say that Jesus Christ is the word of God? The word of God is the reflection, the revelation of somebody that we can't understand. And so we know that God is beyond us. But somehow this God that's beyond us is making himself known to us. And how does, how does he do it? He does it through Jesus. When you look at Jesus, you see the, the, the perfection of humanity. You see the standard of humanity. And that's why the Word of God calls him the image of the invisible God. Now don't think that that's impossible. Because even in the Hadith, we see that mankind was made in the image of God. Authentic Hadith. Look it up. In Sahih and Sahih Abu Qari. Is it a big error? Okay. How, how much money do you want to put on this that there's authentic Hadith that talk about the... You said, don't put me on the mic. Wow, we're, we're talking about big. You said that the Quran. That I said the Hadith. Okay, but there's, the Hadith doesn't say that. There is no Hadith that say. Do you, would you would you like me to prove that to you? And if I'm if, and if I'm correct. Sure. Yes, yeah, sure. Can I can I just look it up on my phone? No, I don't. Obviously, I don't have the text on me, but I can pull it up. Are you willing to actually look? So you know the Hadith I'm talking about. So you know the hadith I'm talking about where it says I'm the image of God? Hadith. No, no, no. That's the error that you made. I'm saying. So, okay, so wait, wait, wait. Just, just so we're on the same page. Are you telling me that there is no authentic hadith that says that man is made in the image of God? No, because that's my topic. I don't want to switch topics. Switching topics. I'm not even taking the chance to speak. I respect you. Most of the stuff that you said, I do believe that as well. As a Muslim, obviously we respect Jesus. Uh, just like the Christians do, but in terms of belief, there are certain differences. So first of all, one of the errors that you made, you said that only Jesus had miracles. Well, that's not okay. No one, no one has done miracles like Jesus. The Bible also says that Solomon had miracles. Right? So the majority of the prophets didn't have miracles. And God is responsible to say that God has been made in the Bible. God, and that's what it says in the Hadith. That's not what it says in the Hadith. Say, say that again? He just said that Adam was made in the village of God. And you're 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 saying that what I'm saying about that is not true. Yeah, definitely right. 
Everything is changing. A lot of things are changing. Can I ask you? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, that's the one thing I'm talking about. Islamqa.info. Is that an Islamic website? It's not an Islamic website. Okay, so I'm going to look up another website. Okay, it's, it is an Islamic website. Of course it's an Islamic website. Well, let's not lie and play, play the key of it. Sahih al Bukhari, number 6,227. Hold on, I let you speak. And Muslim 2841 both say, narrated from Abu Huraira, that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Allah created Adam in his image. And he was 60. In his image. Meaning, didn't I not say that God created us in his image? Yeah. <laughs> you see, you're not giving them the truth. No, I am giving them. No, no, no. Go ahead, go ahead. Because you, you said that's not there. I just read that it isn't. I said it's not the way you're interpreting it. Okay, so stop. So you kind of, kind of, I would say, kind of tried to trick us because you were trying to say that it's not there. I just proved that it is there. And you you knew all along that it was there. No, 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 no. See, he's finished. I'm afraid to the Okay, so you know, okay. I'm going to let you finish, but just for the record, it is there in the Hadith. Yes or no? I'll give you the same way. No, no, let him speak. Let, let me, guys, guys, let him finish. Let's not put it aside. Let's deal with one thing at a time. Just deal with this one. Um, I don't think so. I'm not sure. I'm filming now, yeah. I'm filming this. I think somebody filmed it earlier. Possibly. You should be able to find it on YouTube otherwise. So, so God created Adam Adam in his image? Even though it says Allah created Adam in his image? This is what I'm talking about. Everybody's okay. belief. So, so that's interesting because if Adam was Everybody created... Everybody believes are different. Then we're all going to argue. Okay. So, we're fighting. It's okay, it's not fighting. Okay, hold on, hold Nobody on a second. Nobody <laughs> Mr. Fusion, oh, let me, can, I, can I just respond to that? Okay, there's two things that I'm going to... No, no, we live as one. Sure, 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 sure. Who live as one, no this fucking not, religion. This is not even a debate. This is not even Fuck a debate. Off. Hold on, this is a talk. No fucking religion. Okay, okay come, come. Can, I'm, no fucking live as one. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. It's okay. It's okay. My name's David, what's your name? Can someone pray for Frank? Can you come and pray, please? Frank, Frank, can you come and pray, please? Somebody come and pray. We're not, we're not debating. Not can you come and pray for him? Please? So there's two things that come to mind. One. Okay. Let me just finish. I'm sorry. I'm can sorry. I just finish my thing? My thought is going to be very quick. No, no, you've been for a long time. It's okay. okay. We've all been there before. Yeah, I don't believe in it, man. It's all right. You don't have to believe in it. Yeah. It's all right. You don't have to believe in it. People are not trying to believe in it. It's all right. It's all right. I know you've been for hard times. I know. It's okay. We've all been for hard times. Can I just deal with this one thing first? But I didn't respond to you. Okay. Well, I don't believe it. I believe Okay, so okay, so can I can I just answer you? Are you listening? So are you saying that Adam was an image of somebody? No, no, no. I'm saying Adam was great in his image. Image of Adam. I don't know how Adam had an image. So Adam was Adam either had an image of himself or he was an image of another person. It's not. If someone's in the image of, okay. listen. If someone's in the image of something. Uh, uh, let's, let's now. So, what are you trying to prove by saying that? What I'm, what I'm trying to prove is, is this: is either Adam was the image of another person, or Adam is is it his own image? But when I see, hold on. But when I see an image of myself in a mirror, the mirror is my image. Okay. All right. So, if you're trying to prove. I've got to see the kids, sorry. Why don't you challenge the verse in the Bible? I'm also saying, I respect the Bible, I have a Bible, I hold this up, I have the Quran, I hold the book of myself, yeah? Next to each other. But do you know, the Muslim has to respect the people of the book, including the people of the Jews, yeah? Mark, 
question to you. Since you're challenging this first, say Adam was great, he's great, Adam was great. Oh, okay. So you are challenging. I mean, why else would you mention it? Why don't you challenge the first in the Bible that also says that Adam was great, he's great. The Bible says. Well, I think you're misunderstanding something here. I'm quoting the Bible, and I'm, and I'm also quoting something for you. But the Bible's very clear. Man is made in the image of God. should be standing My kids, it's all right. I'm watching them. Along before they're, they're used to this stuff. I bring them out all the time. It's good to expose them from young. Where did you come? Did you come from the time of Jesus? Girls. 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 Like, sir, sir, do you ask questions and you steal my mic and I'm trying to answer. Oh, no, no, let me answer. Let me answer. I don't give this guy the mic. Give me the mic. Okay, let, let everybody be the witness. Do I give this guy my mic? But you took it away from me. Is, is he trying to keep interrupting me? Yep. <laughs> Come on, be honest, man. Not because you're most of the Let me Let me respond to you. Let me respond to you. Can I respond to you? I'm, no, wait, wait. You, if you ask a question, let me answer. No, 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 no. Are you going to let me answer? Let me finish what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I just want to rectify the things that you can say. So if yours, Tiana, you sit answer. down please now. Jesus is the Lord. Jesus is God. Okay. Don't fight. Don't fight. I'm telling you, in the Bible, in the Bible itself, which Actually came 400 years after Jesus, right? Not at the time. Jerry. Right? Take this. And the divine person. Can you take this? This guy. Yes. No so way. Was alive, no way. That's a lie. <laughs> that's a big fat lie. <laughs> that's a big fat lie. If you go up to them, someone 400 years later says that you took this person, would that be clear? You wouldn't be clear. Can I respond to you? Okay. Now, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Had... See how patient this crystal is? Well, I'm very patient with you because you don't let me respond. I am very patient. To you. <laughs> can I respond? I am very patient. You are a patient guy. I, I, I appreciate that. But you don't have to be patient. You're patient. Well, you're not patient. What, one sentence? Well, I am very I'm, patient. You're not giving me the time to do I'm not even a doctor. You ask me a question, but then you don't let me know. You put the microwave. That's not a debate. That's not a dialogue. Okay, now let me ask you. Why does Jesus. No, no, no. It's dialogue, it's dialogue. It's not a dialogue. It's okay, it's okay. You mean it's a monologue right now? Because you're not letting me respond to it. No, but I'm not going to. No, no, no. You're fine. I'm cool with you, man. I just all I'm saying is let me respond to you. I don't care what you say. Just let me respond to you. Okay. Look, man. Okay, brother. He can be who he wants to be. Say what he wants. It's up to you guys. I don't really care. But here's what. I don't let you speak. Wow, bro. Okay. Come on, man. Come serious? on, man. No, 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 no. Wait. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. Oh, hold on. Hold on a second. Does anybody feel that I didn't let this guy speak? Okay, I, do, you, do you want more time? Okay, do you want me to give him some time? Does anybody want to hear my response? Or do, does, okay. I want to hear you pray. Let's, let's pray okay. over him. No, no, no. Let him feel look, 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 man. Look. The Quran, okay. there's, a, there's, a, there's an ayah in the, in the Quran that the Jews were debating about you know, who Abraham belongs to. Uh, Muhammad said, you know, you guys weren't around at the time of uh, of Ibrahim, right? You guys know that ayah? Yes, so you I guys know it. Around the time of Ibrahim, so why are you debating about something that you weren't even there? For? I'm going to say the same thing. Because if you're going to use that, if, if Allah is going to use that logic, your God is going to use that logic about Abraham and the Jews. I'm going to say the same thing to the Muslims and Jesus. If the Jews weren't there around Ibrahim and they're debating about what Abraham was, whether he was a Jew or not, and they weren't there, so they have no right to talk about it. I would say the same thing to Muslims because, um, first of all, uh, Muslims were not there at the time of Jesus to say anything about the real Jesus. 
Muhammad was not a Jew to even have anything. He wasn't even there at the time of Jesus. So, oh, no, no. Let me respond. Let me respond. You're talking about the Bible coming 400 years later when we have the whole the whole Dead Sea Scrolls that were 150 years before Jesus. We have church fathers quoting the Bible as early as 90 AD. We have fragments of the, of the Word of God found in Egypt as early as 90 AD that are still in museums today. We even found a, a, a portion of the Bible, 100 AD, that's in museums today. So this idea, Ethiopia became, uh, Armenia became a Christian nation by 300 AD, which is less than 400 years. Ethiopia also embraced Christianity at 315 AD. So this idea that the Bible only came 400 years later is not historically or factually true. And if you're an honest person, all you need to do is look that up. Look at the, just, just go on Google and look at the earliest biblical manuscript that we have, and it predates 400 AD. So put that aside, because you're wrong on that, but, but that's fine, you can find the facts on the internet. But here's what I'm saying. If, if your God is gonna use the logic about the Jews, then I, okay, well, there is only one God, but there are also false gods. We're something a tree, a tree's not God, Satan's not God. Um, oh, that's the diet. That's the those are, are worshipping fake gods. They're not gods. They're not gods. They're, not gods, right? they're false gods. People believe they're gods. No, you never say that, bro. Oh, so they're false gods. People, false gods. But anyway, here's what I'm saying. Listen, man. Hold on, hold on. Let your logic, let your logic be consistent. I'm going to use the same logic that your God and your Quran says. If you were, God if Muhammad and your Uma was not there at the time of the Jesus, the Christian you have no right to say Jesus was a Muslim because he wasn't. Okay. And the second thing is, you can't, you can't even talk about it because you weren't there. But one thing is, we have texts from people who were there. Hallelujah. We have of Christians who carried on a tradition of people that were there. So if you want to learn about Christianity and, know, know. and about who have, Jesus is, life, yeah. then you need, then, on, then, right, then you need right to just now. be humble and learn yeah. and learn from your older brothers, which are the Christians yeah. and the Jews. So we have we have we have a tradition, and that's why what we do, we, we put the Jewish books and the Christian books in one because we believe it's the Word of God. Yeah, and and if really you good, believe yeah. that the Torah, the Zabur, and the Injil were the Word of God, why did you not put it in the Quran? Oh, it's because corrupted. There's a, there's a different book. A different tradition that doesn't line up with the previous revelations. So all I encourage you to do, since you wanted to talk, and this is not a debate, this is a discussion, yeah, yeah, yeah. since you wanted to talk about this, the Word of God, the Jews and the Christians know what the image of God meant. It's actually quoted in the New Testament in 1 Corinthians chapter 11. And that's why men in the New Testament shouldn't be covering their head when they pray, because the Bible were made in the image and the glory of God. And it's coming back from the Torah where God said he made man in the image of God. So this is this is what the Bible teaches. Of course you can say, you can take ten things. First of all, before you start saying about the text and what it says, the original language of the Bible isn't English. The original language of the Bible is Aramaic. Jesus spoke Aramaic. Is that true? No. What language do you speak English? Is it true? You spoke Aramaic and Hebrew, but that is doesn't mean... Oh, just... but, no, but, but you said the original language of the Bible was written in Aramaic. That's not true. It's not true. Brother, brother, did you, brother? Yeah, you're right, right. Brother, good. It's not. But this is my It was Hebrew, isn't it? It was Hebrew, yeah. They say that Jesus referred to God. Do you know what he said? He said, Ida. Do you know what God means in Arabic language? Ida. Allah means the one. Yeah. The one. Did he say Allah? He said Allah, uh, which is also the same. Uh, okay, so let me let me ask you something. <laughs> First of all, he, 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 first of all, he didn't. No, he brother, listen, 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 come down. He didn't call the name of Allah. That's one thing. <laughs> You're cutting him off now. Can I answer you? No, no, just, let, 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 let me answer you. Yeah, leave me finish, finish bro. Yeah? I'm fine. I've been to Palestine. I've spoken to the Christians there. The people in the UK. The people in the UK. The people in the UK. The No, no, no. So anyway, the point is, I've been there and I'm still there. So, yeah. so the, and, and all the, and all the language is different. It's nice though, I now, like this. That is I'm, I'm hard. I'm hard. hard. So, you know, before you start saying what the text says, you need to see the language. I've gone into the language of the Arabic language, limited, but good enough to have a discussion. 
So you don't know nothing, you don't, you don't see the understand the language of the highway or the people. You don't think of it. So, what? That's what I'm not saying. What is the language of Jesus? You, no, I you, you said the language of the, the Bible was written in Aram okay. Aramaic, and it wasn't. Okay, so what language was it written in? Hebrew and the Old Testament. There's one book that we have in Aramaic, the book of Daniel, and the rest of it, the New Testament, is written in Greek, Koine Greek. So, so what did um, Jesus say when he referred to God? Did he say God? Because that's English, isn't it? He, he didn't use the word English, God. No, he, no, he didn't. He said, my God, my God, why have no, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no. He said the Aramaic. He said the Aramaic. What is that? What is that? No, he said no, no, no. Aramaic. Before he said... But, 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 that that doesn't, but that doesn't mean that, that doesn't the Bible mean. was written in Aramaic. <laughs> <laughs> Just because God's... Jesus spoke in the language of Jesus. Yeah, what was that term of God that was used? Okay, what you originally said was that the Bible was written in Aramaic. It's not true. If you're going to ask me, did Jesus speak Aramaic? I said the language Jesus spoke was Aramaic. Okay, so you're correcting yourself. Jesus did speak Aramaic, which is very similar to Arabic. And so what, similar. Was, what was God in Aramaic? But it's not the same. I just want to know. Okay, so, so is that it? So what's your question? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. What's, so what's your, what's your theory or your question? I want to know. What did you say? What was God in Aramaic? Well, exactly. That's my question. There yeah. you go. Well, it, yes. It's good. It's interesting, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's very similar to Arabic. And you know no, what was no, what yeah. was God in Aramaic? That's that doesn't make him the real God. Though. I understand, I understand. I understand. <laughs> the, 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 the real root of God in, in, in Hebrew yeah. or Aramaic is Allah. Yeah. So, okay, the point here. But it's not Allah. Okay, yeah. The point is, neither was it God. It's yeah. not Allah. Right, right. So let's just make that clear. The terminology God wasn't used, the terminology Allah wasn't used at the time. That's what you're saying, right? I'm saying Allah was not used. No, no, no. And I'm saying God in English obviously was not used. Right, exactly. Speaking. So we agree that at that time that wasn't used. Then right. later revelations came, later things happened, and that's how we made the French. No, it's not, no, it's not later because Allah. And Al Ilat and Al Uzza were well known Arabic deities, false gods that were worshipped right. in Arabia. That's, and that's true. That's why you have the moon god, exactly. the crescent moon above your mosque. It's a true. merge Same of false pagan right. gods, and Jesus never worshipped Allah. Yeah, and I agree that. This you true. agree, so thank but, you. But you need to understand also in English, God, the terminology wasn't there. You agree to that. In English, it wasn't God. There we go. So, so there we go. There we go. So, 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 so you're. So I'm not, I'm not saying that the name God is the name. So you I, cannot, you cannot say that Allah wasn't there, but then me saying God wasn't no, no, no. there. No, no, The word God, you're right. You're right. I just don't know yeah. why you're stressing the name Allah. I wasn't. As, I wasn't. Okay, you're not. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay, okay. Time, this one, this one. At that time, for my not No, no, it's okay. <laughs> He's trying to put Allah is God. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm videoing him. <laughs> I don't know why. Yes. You know there's difference between Muslims and Christians? What it is? What? For Muslims, Jesus Christ is as sacred. We consider him the holiest of messengers of Allah. What does the son of God? Holiest. What does it mean to be holy? Yes. He is the messenger. In fact, he Muslims holy, are more Christians Yeah, what does it mean? Christians holy means. You know? On the eighth... No, I'll tell you. On the eighth day of the birth, I don't know if it is in Bible or not, he was circumcised. In Muslims, yeah. uh, circumcised. Right. Secondly, there is not a much of a difference. I don't know what the debate Why is about. The only thing if you are going about well, I, wasn't, I wasn't the one who started yeah. the debate. Yeah, I was, no, I was, we came in also, so, 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 if you go to a bookshop now, and if you ask for a, if you ask for a Bible, there are 50 different versions of the Bible. Versions, what translation? In English. In different languages. English is a translation. I mean, I, I'm referring to versions. So these versions are in English that you're referring yeah. to. English or other languages also. Like I can find yeah. for the Quran. So for example, yeah. if you go to a shop and you say, I want a Bible. They will ask 10 questions. Give the Bible. Roman, they cannot I don't know. <laughs> oh, bro, come on. Do you want the pigfall? Do you want the, the uh, penguin translation? Do you want, uh, uh, what's the other translation of the Quran? They're, they're, they're all different translations. They're not translations. They are versions. Of the Quran? Versions. No, no, of, of Bible. They are versions, not translations. What's your argument, brother? The the day, I think it's argument. The the day, day, those who are translating the Quran into okay, English. What's my, what's my oh, point? Is those who are yeah, translating. Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me oh, give oh, it. I, okay, one, one by one. Yeah. Those who are translating the Quran into English, they are different about the translation of the words into English. So, whatever you call it, it's still a version. No, but the point was, what I was trying to make is, the Quran is the final word of God. No, that's a lie. Quran. Oh, wait. Ow, ow. Quran says 
Joseph Smith claims that the Book of Mormon is the last testament. Hallelujah. It came around 1900. So why don't we follow Joseph Smith? No, no, no. It's a real valid question. Joseph Smith came with a later revelation, and he says he has the last testament. Why don't you accept Joseph Smith to become a Mormon? I'll tell you. I'll tell you this. I see. I grew up in the city. I'm going to him. I'm a Muslim. Yeah. Zakat Naik like doesn't know anything, man. The guy, the guy is silly, man. Bro. Okay. So how about this? How about this? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep him, but I okay, can I just respond to it quickly? Can I? And I'll come to you. No, don't worry. I'll come back. See, back to what I was saying. What I was saying is that. Hey, who put that thing backward? In the Bible, in the Torah. Bring the banner here, man. When it's rolling, in the Hadiths, it repeats that sentence. Now that guy differed with me on the interpretation of that. But Nothing. here's what I want to say to you. It doesn't know Don't you notice that the God of the universe is reaching out to humanity. He wants humanity to, to come into his kingdom. He wants to save humanity. He wants to teach humanity. In fact, the Prophet Muhammad in your tradition is emulating or the, the will of your God in the Sunnah so that you can become like Muhammad and Muhammad is like or reflecting who? Who is Muhammad reflecting? I'm assuming you're reflect, reflecting the character of your God. God. I put him on. So, so who has? Okay, so okay, who has? What standard is Muhammad living by? Is he living by the standards of himself? Is he living by the standards of your God, or is he living by the standards of? The devil. He's living by the standards of the Quran. So the Quran is the word of who? So it's the will of who? So it's the revelation of who? No, It's the revelation of the character of God. It's what God wants, right? It's what God believes is right, right? Okay, so it's a, it's his it's his character in a book so that you can follow. Okay, good. So. Okay, well, we all have a character, a nature, a, a, a system of beliefs that we think is right and what's wrong, right? When you say, okay, so, yes, I'm When you're seeing it, it's not character, but it's teachings. Because we can understand the nature of God, because it's so perfect, we have so high up. But if I was that person, you can't do that. That's why you need Jesus. So, okay, so hold on a second. So, so your God teaches something. That he lives by or doesn't live by. You understand what I mean? Yeah. No live by, Why would live by. He, we don't he doesn't live by his teachings. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know what I mean? You don't think about it. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay, fine. You don't think about it, but we do. So, so what I'm, what I'm, here's what I'm trying to say. We believe that if God is going to teach something, he's not a hypocrite. He, he's going to live by his word. He's going to stand by his word. And you can count on God's word because that's his character revealed. And now maybe that's, view, that's the, our yeah. views, yeah. because that's, if I have a son, yeah. I, if I'm going to teach something, that means what I believe is true. Now, if I'm going to teach my son something that I don't believe is true, I would be a hypocrite. And I don't think God is a hypocrite. Right? God hates hypocrites, right? He actually he throws hypocrites into the hellfire. So God is, has to be the leader of righteousness because God is righteous. So if God is righteous, his word is also going to be righteous because it's reflecting who he is. Right? So what I'm trying to say is this. If that's true and you follow the Quran, which is a reflection of your God's character, or again, his again, nature, no, or you don't think about it, no, 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 or it's a reflection of his teaching. Okay, listen, listen, there's a cutoff point. I know why there's a cutoff point. There's a wall. And you know what that wall is? I'm gonna tell you there's a re okay, there's a reason why you have a wall and we don't. Because the, the glory of the Lord has been revealed. To Praise us. the Lord. The has been broken Amen. Jesus Christ, so that we can have a relationship. Now, God wouldn't send a prophet to you if he didn't want a relationship with you of some sort. He wants to relate with you. Now, if God wants to relate with you, that means that he can know you and you can know him. Otherwise, there's no real relationship. You can't have a relationship with God unless you know him. So how do you know who God is? Do you know who God is? Who is, who is your God? Allah is my God. How? And who is he? Is he holy or not holy? Is he righteous or not? Okay, okay. He is the eternal Ooh. entity. Right? So this is from our point of view and I see from you because he has one God. From Christianity point of view, I respect it. Because what you guys do 
you are children of Jesus in the Bible. Okay? For me, you're a brother in that sense. Because Jesus is a brother of Prophet Muhammad. It's his children coming up. That's how it all relates. What I'm saying is from our is not looking into the character of God. God is, but you just said he's holy. Okay, so can I ask you something? Okay, okay, so how do you define holiness? No, no, there is not one thing wrong that you can put him as he comes to that definition of a human being, you can say character, because the character could be right or wrong. For God, there is no definition like that, because he is always right. Okay, so good. So God is righteous. Is the Quran righteous? Yeah, of course, I would believe that. Okay, you would say that. Are there two different righteousnesses, or is there one righteousness? No, there should be one righteousness. Okay, so the righteousness of the Quran reflects the character of their God. Character. I, think, I, think, I, know, I know you keep saying no, that. No, because you, you don't understand God what character righteous. means. I don't want to know that God is righteous no, but I think the thing unless is, his righteousness is revealed and there's a definition. He yeah, he doesn't know. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is, is he righteous? No. Is he merciful? Of course. The Bismillah Rahman read the most righteous. What does merciful mean? Forgiving. And then forgiving. So we can, we can make sense of God's mercy. Yeah. Okay, so he has a nature okay. to himself. <laughs> You're comparing our nature, yeah, like the nature we have, to the nature of God. But I'm saying God is something you cannot even reach. You cannot compare. Then how do you know it's real? No, but that's the In your context, how do you know something is real? We've never seen, never touched it. In your context, we have adult children. Yes. In your context, in my context, in my context, we're having a conversation. Huh? We're having a conversation. Okay. The words We've heard for it. me, quite a large term, so I'd like to learn. For me, for me. Oh, just. Words are just nature, character. You know what I mean, brother? Yeah. Hold on. Is there? Is there any? What's he saying? Okay. Okay. So. Okay. So here's here's what I'm saying. Look. The reason why. Okay, I get you. I get you. You understand my point, right? The reason it's good to have conversations. Conversations, right? If you ask ten people here, they will say no. No, no. So give me a quotation. Simple as that. Even in that crowd, they have to be very precise. Give me the reference number. Have you ever noticed that your God is speaking to you in a human language? Oh, I believe on all this. In a human language. Okay, first of all, did God speak the Quran? Okay, so God never even spoke the Quran. So the words of the Quran are actually words of man, not God. Who is John? Who is John? So who is John? What is the prophet? No, he one of the apostles. I don't see any reference in the God spoke. No, no, the You know, you are going to say. So what? Okay, what's the point? Well, first, it's a side point. A side point is this. There's no reference in the Quran that God actually... Okay, sorry. Yeah, you did it. Right. 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 So here's what I'm saying. Have you ever seen God's book? It's a chapter of the Bible. God, well, Isaiah, Roman. Can you give me any quotation? Not John. I don't believe on John. Arabic was the best. Look, it's a human language called Arabic. Right? No, you don't believe in it. Here's where I'm going. If God's character wants to be bigger, if God's righteousness is holy as his mercy, everything can be communicated with a human language. If he himself communicates who he is in a human language, how he is a human language, uh, righteous, all that stuff, that means that human beings can understand some of who God is and where is Muhammad now? Where is, where is Muhammad now? Huh? He died. He died. He's he died. A Why? Why did he die? Yeah, he died. Why? Why? He died by himself. Exactly. By himself. Yeah. Yeah. So Muhammad was killed by poison, man. God can be died. Muhammad was poisoned. No, God, God, God can be died. Do you know Muhammad was poisoned? I accept what you said, but God can be died. Did Jesus die? God, God can be died. In the Quran, did, 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 did Jesus die? 
Jesus just yes, died. In the Quran. In the Quran, he didn't die. Oh, he will come. In the Quran, okay. So he God will... never die. So Jesus can never die. In the Quran, this is my belief. <laughs> okay. He went up. Okay, and you, okay, according okay, to okay, you, okay, he died. Okay. Who went with that? Jesus. Jesus, yes. according Jesus to you. This man said. So who died then? This man said, God can who never die. Who died on the Quran? Yeah. So I said to him, oh, you said in the Quran, did Jesus die? He said, no. So. He, he didn't God die. He's alive. So, he so, 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 basically, basically, in a lower sense, in a created sense, but in some way, we can understand God in a human limited way through his own communication. We can, we can have a relationship with our creator. All of these things. If this is true, then all I'm saying is this, this one and true living God brought someone here, baby. Just wait a minute. that replicates his glory in a created way to the best name into in the best way possible his name was Jesus and this Jesus revealed the image revealed the invisible nature of God in a visible way for us to know who this God is just like you believe the Quran reveals this invisible God we believe that there is a living word of God named Jesus and this, and this Jesus, listen, this Jesus came to give you the mercy and the love of God that if you receive it in your life, you can reconnect back with God if you accept it. Now, 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 you can reject it or you can accept it. Now, someone, someone said to me, you call Jesus Lord. Lord, someone, that guy over there, he said, you said Jesus is Lord, right? And the it doesn't, someone, it doesn't, okay, just listen. Okay, there you go. So you said, there you go. Okay, so I'm, I'm continuing. So, so. And the cat, you can't no, film no, it, baby, let me, sorry. Let me finish. Ooh, pick those up, pick them up for me. Thank you. I know, but you can't just jump in in the middle pick, of Please that. pick them up for me, help me, help oh, me, yes. Tiana. Thank you, oh, so thank you, you very much. Yet? God bless you. Is that you. me? Huh. What is that? Labor, vote the Labor Party. I can't see anything. Okay, nice, nice discussion. Thank you, God bless you. Um, okay. Uh, I learned a little bit about Christianity and how you guys see it, but I think now you learned from our point of view. I can't. Do you mind filming for a little bit? Sure. Thank you. It's just really, um. Oh, you got it. Yeah. That's awesome. You see that very high respect. I'm not saying that you see any lower respect. But it's from your point of view that you see Jesus reflection God, we see it as teachings that we are following and we cannot be compared against. We believe that, that when we say no God but a love, we think nothing can be compared against him. He is that perfect. That, that's, that's how we okay. go. So, okay, so here's what I'm going to say just to wrap this up. Yeah, 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 I do it. Let me see one thing to you. Let's just say, let's just say that one of us are right. Yeah. There's somebody that is is perfect enough or holy enough yeah. or somebody we should follow as the final standard. The somebody. God, yeah, yeah. No, somebody that reveals that because for a Muslim they follow Muhammad. Okay, all right. Yeah. For a Christian we follow Jesus. Yeah, yeah. So so somebody is gonna govern how we live. Someone's gonna be the governor that's put there by God. Someone's gonna govern it. For you as a Muslim Muhammad's governing your life by his sunnah, yes. his lifestyle. For us, the governor of our lives is Jesus. Now, Jesus, when we look at his life, he lived the sinless life. He rose from the dead. He did, he did miracles. He did miracles that no other person has done. And he's with God today. So, he's not the only one that's done miracles. He did miracles that no other person has done. So, oh, done, oh, done, oh, done. If Jesus governs the Christian's life, Muhammad governs the Muslim life. If you had to do a comparison in characters, it's human beings. Listen, yeah. Listen you have to just be honest with yourself. Yeah. If you look at Jesus, and you look at Muhammad, I know yeah. your mind as a Muslim may not want to compare the two. Yeah. But did Jesus have a higher standard? Than, than Muhammad, or did Muhammad have a higher standard than Jesus? When you mean standard, in what in terms of miracles and stuff like that? All of the above. Now, you were very specific. Okay, okay miracles. Miracles, Jesus had more miracles, okay. right? Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was meant to be a role model 
So he can show you that we can see that a normal human being. Oh, a role model. <laughs> So, 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 Jesus, Jesus had a higher standard of miracles than Muhammad. Okay. I agree. Okay. So, when you need healing and when you need deliverance, you come to Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Is higher with Jesus. No, 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 no. I never said the standard was higher. I said the miracles. But however, Prophet Muhammad had many miracles in himself as well. He had gone from here. To Jannah, right? To the heavens, to the heavens. Yeah, Jannah Quran. Who witnessed that? Well. Oh, okay. So, okay. So, did, did Muhammad heal anybody's cancer? That uh, miracle? So Jesus, and that's why I respect Jesus to the highest. Did he, did he open the eyes of the blind? No. <laughs> did he raise the dead? No. <laughs> okay, wait. Oh, no. 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 Oh, as a normal human being, so we know we can achieve that. We can try and achieve that. That's where it was. At our event, where it becomes fundamentally different, is that we think it's the last prophet of the word of Quran. For yours, it's the fact that Jesus was the last prophet, the very word of Quran, and Bible was that, and the Son of God, right? That's from yours. But from our point of view, we can make all of that. We never disregard all of that. It's just the Son of God. So, so here's what I'm saying. Since, since Jesus, since, since Jesus is the specialist when it comes to healing, every prophet had the wrong miracle. Okay, so he had. So, so if it comes, to, if you want, look, look. What I'm saying is this: when you need healing and deliverance, and you want the best for any person that has ever come on this planet. Jesus was the best in that area. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. The second thing is this. Second, uh, another one. Okay, yeah. but he never healed the sick. So, I mean, so okay, yeah, but you okay. can't say one more than another one. Hold on. Yeah, 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 no, no. But David, David, look. You can I, can I just finish? Lame, lame. David, I'll listen to you, but just don't contradict. Don't be oh. like, yeah, but he didn't do this. Don't, don't do that. Well, well you I said in your own words, no, no, Jesus' never, standard for, I, I for healing or miracles was different. I never said that. Oh, but he did I'm not using the word but. Any of the questions. You know what I mean? So, you can go all year with you. Like I said to you, analyze it again. For us, he was the last part. No one you didn't talk so much for the young age. I don't mind. Okay. Can I add something? No, the Muhammad is dying. Okay. Because he didn't have the miracles Prophet Muhammad did upon him. I know all the story, but I, I read the Quran that it says that he didn't he, he wasn't sent to be a miracle worker, but the miracle of the Quran is the miracle. Right, but That's what, what it says so in the Quran. Were there, were there any miracles that happened that you know about? Uh, well, I hear about the splitting of the moon. Right, this okay, is what right, I, right. I hear about him <laughs> being transported right, so to Jerusalem how, and being brought yeah, up to so Jerusalem. I hear I how hear the that. Healing of people, but like I don't hear healing. anything about healing. How the, yeah, but how the healing of people touches you? This kind of stuff touches us. We connect with this problem, and this is the last problem. <laughs> okay, so, so, so my friend, listen man, all, all I'm trying to say is this. Yeah, all, all I'm trying, okay, hold on. All I'm trying to say is this. Man. Why? One, why? Of us, one of us are going to be right. You guys always have questions. Jesus, man. Jesus, Jesus, <laughs> you always have we questions. believe is the governor of our lives. As you, okay, you know what I'm okay, hold on. I will let you speak. Okay. You're all naked. Oh. You're going, yeah? You're all naked. No. What is this? What? I'm just saying this. Christianity, Jesus, God, isn't there. Like I said, we know all of that. The only difference, the only difference is the Son of God thing. That's the only difference. Okay, so can I, okay, so can I, instead of jumping in, instead of jumping in, all I'm trying to say is, all I'm, all I'm trying to, hold on, hold on, all I'm trying to say is this. If we believe Jesus is the governor of our lives because of ABC, and you believe Muhammad is the governor of your lives because of ABC. So all I'm trying to say is this. Somebody who is the final governor of all of our lives, and we believe he's Jesus, and we believe that he's the shepherd that leads us back to God. And with, without him, without him you have no salvation. You have no mercy because he is, he is the one who brought the angel. The good angel news. means good news. Nobody else, no other prophet brought the angel. That's so true, right? Yeah. No, I mean, no other prophet brought the angel. Because Muhammad came with the Torah, Musa came with the Torah, 
and, 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 and Dawood came with the Zabur. But there's only one person that came with the good news. That's Jesus. So all I'm trying to say is, look into what this good news is. Look into why he is the only Messiah mentioned in your Quran. And then you will... Is there any other Messiah mentioned in the Quran? Is there? Is, is, was Muhammad called the Messiah? No. Was Mo Moses called the Messiah? No. Only Mes So look into why Jesus is called the Messiah and why he is the only one that brought the good news. And, and then you'll have your answers. Now, and, and that's all I got to say. Okay, I know you got to go. But, but that's all I got to say. I like how you understood my point of view. And, how, and you understand where we're thinking from, of course. and I understand where thinking, and that's the most. And that's that's way. the best way there to do. There was no it. argument. There was Never is. Like that. I respect that brother to you. God bless. And yet, like you said, like one from my point of view, I look into your religion a little bit more. You can look into the prophets' miracles and why we believe that should be the last. This year, they always have that in for prison. You said you had an answer. You said you had an answer as to why. No matter how much you show them, they will still argue. Okay, so you're switching. I will, bro. You okay? Are you a believer of the Lord? Go, go, bro. Pray for me, bro. He didn't say it by the I mean, he, what he did, what he did say. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's good to see you on fire, man. Oh, he said, Amen. Praise the Lord. He said many times. You have to. When you talk You said you were praying for Christianity. If he said, no, but can I? No, but you just said, if I can show you where he said, I've never wanted to be arguing with Muslims. You would become a Christian. It's not that far. No, it's like, it's like you, you believe in Christ, and somebody comes to try to change you. You're going to fight. You become a Christian. It's a force. The religion is a force. That's why. Hold me. Hold on a second. You just told me. I can show you any unequivocal verse where he says, I am the son of God. Then you would become a Christian. And you're admitting that he said the son of God. I will become a Christian if you can prove me single. Are you the Zaganaik? It's like an eye quote now, brother. <laughs> where Jesus Christ claimed divinity. Because in the Bible he always said that, you know, you know if you see my father is, you know. You've seen me. Yeah, yeah, Mohammed never say that. The father who's actually saved you, right? And if you read the Song of Solomon as well, David, in the Song of Solomon, you know, in the Song of Solomon, he's actually prophesizing Prophet Muhammad. And if you read the, if you do read, you know, the, the Hebrew version of the Bible, what? it's clearly mentioned the Hebrew version. Hikampi, Muttakimpi, Bulli Muhammad, and the Hadith. Okay, so can I answer you? Can I answer you? Hebrew text, I'm quoting the Hebrew text. Can I answer you? Baba, Baba, calm down, calm down. Can I answer you? It's okay. You're passionate about what you do. I'm trying to say, if you can answer all these questions, David, why in the Song of Solomon of the Bible, he is actually, you know, like prophesizing Prophet Muhammad, you understand? Okay. Here, here's, you wouldn't be here if you weren't sincere in some, some way. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to answer. Okay, you're passionate. You understand. Look, the point of Jesus' coming is not to prove that he is God. The point of him coming is to prove that he came to redeem mankind and that he is the only one that can do that and that he is the one to bring that to our lives. We know that there's one God in heaven that no one has ever seen. But there's one person that revealed the one who no one has seen the Lord. in a perfect way. And that's Jesus. He's revealed the mercy of God. He's revealed the love of God. He revealed the salvation of God. And that's why Jesus Christ came, is to bring that awareness to you. So, so here's what I'm saying to you. Without any debate, without any fuss, you believe in the Injil, right, right. You believe in the Injil, you quoted the Bible, so there's something there. Believe in one God and believe in his mercy that was revealed through Jesus and accept that. Now, Jesus Christ, there was no other figure in history, if you look it up, that is like Jesus, that was called the Messiah. There is no one else. You respect that. So if he is the only Messiah, all I gotta say is if he is the only one anointed to bring the good news, because that's what Messiah means. He's anointed to bring the good news. He's anointed to be called 
God saves. That's his name. That's what, that's what Yeshua means. So if he's anointed to bring the salvation of God and to bring the good news, all you need to do is receive that and accept that, and you'll be fine. There's no debate. There's no fuss. I understand your concern. I get it. I get it. Here's what I'm saying. How many God, how many gods does the Bible say there is? How many gods? Only one God in the Bible. And you're saying I've read the Bible and there's nowhere where Jesus said I'm God. Okay. So so in reality you have no problems with what the Bible says because the Bible only teaches one God. Right? Right, so the Bible's not inaccurate. It's just people's interpretation of the Bible that you're having a problem with, right? I think James' version of the Bible is I'd rather go to the Hebrew text of the Bible is Okay, so, so when, uh, you're a bit wrong, but that's, but that's okay. But, but here's what I'm saying. You don't have a problem with the teachings of Tawheed in the Bible because the Bible teaches the oneness of God. It teaches the prophethood of Jesus. But it teaches something about the prophet of Jesus. It teaches that Jesus brings the salvation of the Messiah. And so, all I'm saying is, the answers are in the Bible if you're willing to look. It doesn't, it doesn't negate the idea that there's one God. It just simply shows that this one God extended his arm to save you. That's what it's about. If that's what you believe, I can't change your belief. But if you want the Bible, no, no. Hey, hey. Okay. Do you want me to answer that? I believe you're wrong, but if that's what you believe, that's what you believe. If you want the Bible's definition of these things, or what the Bible says about the comforter and all these things, it's right there. It, and, and it's very difficult to to say that Jesus was talking about the coming of the Holy when, when the actual text, just a few verses down, clearly spelled out that he was speaking about the Holy Spirit. But if you believe that it's not speaking about the Holy Spirit, it's totally up to you, right? I know, you understand because you probably grew up in it, and I understand. What is this? That's fine. I'm going to get it. All I'm trying to say is this, man. God bless you, bro. And, and, and this one God who created all of us is extending his arm. And what I'm preaching out here is this, is that there's only one God I know that would reach out his arm so, so wide and so, and so long to save humanity. And you're seeing a cloud of witnesses of ex-homosexuals, ex-robbers, ex all sorts of stuff. Ex-gangsters, people that have found hope in salvation and mercy in God. And and we're worshiping the one true God through the revelation. Hold on. No, no, no. Through the revelation of Jesus Christ. And we know we've been forgiven of our sins. And we, we, we stand before God blameless and holy. Not because... There's not things we need to change, but because someone paid a penalty for us and gave us a righteous standing. It's like somebody who came, was born into poverty. Hold on. Someone was born into poverty and suddenly won the lottery. It doesn't mean that he may not have some things that need to change in his mind about living in poverty or living in riches, but his position has now changed. God has changed our position from an unrighteous sinner 
to a saint simply because of what Jesus Christ did for us. And, 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 and that's our belief. And you know what? I, I encourage you to correlate the Old Testament scriptures, the Injil, with that message and see if the Jews would, were looking forward to somebody called the Messiah that would pay the penalty for our sins. Let's see if the early Ummah of Christians believe that. And if that's the case, there's two witnesses that testify of this one truth that I'm talking about. That God's hand wants to save all people through the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And if you don't believe that, we will all find out one day. Right? I love Jesus Christ. I love Jesus Christ. <laughs> So oh, again, you have no. Bible, okay. So you have no problem with the Bible. So, so there's no the problem. Okay. So continue. So so I'm saying, keep keep reading the Bible. And the, and the Bible will reveal. Praise the Lord. The Quran leads me to Quran, David. Okay. If you feel it leads you to the Quran, I can't do anything about it. But here's what I am saying: If the Bible is not the problem, don't just look at some of the words of Jesus. Embrace all of the words of Jesus. Amen. And, yes. And, and, and then. And then you'll, it'll all make sense. I think in that way, if, you know, Jesus Christ was born away from, you know, he was born away from, you know, in that way, God, in all respect for him as well. But in that case, I see that, I see that, I see that Adam is more, far more spiritual, superior in that case. Except he sinned. Yeah, yes, right? Except he sinned there, yeah, but he was like, you know, he was sent straight to the earth, basically. So in that regard, so I don't see that way then. In that way, Adam is far more spirit in that case. Am I right or wrong? Um, he came direct from, okay. you know, he came direct I understand, from, understand what you're trying to say here, but here's the thing. You know, one thing that's interesting uh, about Jesus is is that he had a father, and it was and it was God. Praise the Lord. Because because everybody on earth is born of a father and a mother, except Adam and Eve, right? And so Adam and Eve also had a father as well, right? So, so here's what I'm trying to say to you. The Bible says that Adam was also a son of God, and Jesus is the son of God. Why was Adam a son of God? Because he came direct from God, made in his image. But Jesus Christ also came direct from God. The only difference is Jesus lived out the image of God, proving that he truly was the reflection of who God wants to, what, what God wants to see on the earth. Who puts him there? By the breath of God, yeah. right? So the breath of God, that the breath is the seed that God placed within Mary, that miracle seed that God put into that womb and brought forth what we know as Jesus, right? So that miracle that only comes from, okay, hold on, that, that miracle that only comes from God brought forth Jesus. So Jesus is unique and special. He is very special to me particularly. I know he is, otherwise we wouldn't have this discussion. And so that uniqueness of Jesus Christ was so unique that he never committed any sin, unlike the other prophets. I can quote you other texts where the prophets themselves have sinned, including Muhammad, and including Musa, and including Ibrahim. Now, sin is the, you're talking about who's superior. What separates us from the, no, no. Oh, you said Adam was probably yeah, yeah, more superior. Right, right. So what I'm trying to say is, what makes anyone superior than another is our character. And Jesus Christ had a sinless character. And that places him on a level that no one else is. That's why he's the only one anointed to be sinless. He's the only one anointed to be the savior. He's the only one anointed to bring the good news. And if what I'm saying is true, all it takes is a humble heart to say, you know what, God, 
I accept your good news. I, I, I believe in the Bible, like you said. The Bible has no problem. It's just people. So don't, don't listen to Tell people. That woman listen to, to the Bible. Live in the no. Okay. So forget the, forget the church. Listen to the Bible, and listen to the words of the Bible, and 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 let let the words of the Bible, which is the words of God, speak to you and accept it. And if you can do that, then God will do a miracle in your life too. I want to ask you a small question. Are you a like, Christian by faith or by love? Christian by, by faith. faith. If you mean I'm forced or I was born into something? Yeah, no, no, like when I say like faith by law, maybe you know, it means that you know, you have alcohol, you have hope. You know, in the Bible, it clearly mentions, you know, you can't have hope, you can't have alcohol. The Bible doesn't talk about alcohol. The Old Testament does talk about pork as an unclean animal, just like it talks about shrimp as well. So, so, so if we're going to follow the, the Word of God clearly, then Muslims too should follow the law, but you believe that certain things are abrogated or corrected or made easier for mankind to follow, right? No, no, am I right? Because I remember reading an ayah in the Quran that it says some things were unlawful to the Jews, but to the Christians we made lawful. There's actually a verse, I think it's in Surah chapter 3, that God himself said some things were made lawful for the Christians that were formerly unlawful. And you believe as Muslims that some things are also made. So what, I'm trying, so what I'm trying to say is God made lawful for us some things that were formerly not unlawful. So some things are, are not a salvation issue for us. Just like... It's only God that can convince so, so, so the answer to your question is we live by faith according to the lens and the covenant of what we believe is the last testament which is the words of Jesus and his apostles in the Ummah of Jesus. We live by that. That's our law today. We don't live by the law of Musa because that was the law to the Jews. And, and you live for, by the law of the Sunnah. So you don't live by the law of Jesus and, and you don't live by the laws of Moses. Right? You live by the law of the, the Quran. Right? Am I right? right? Right. So we all have our own law. But the true, the question is, is what is the true law that we live by? And we believe that the true law, the, re the revealed law that gives you life and forgiveness is found in Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. And so there's no doubt it was far more superior. That's what I said to you. You don't have a problem with Jesus Christ. I know you don't. Know. Understanding the yes. understanding. But the, the, the other, right, so the understanding in the Bible, that's what you want to go by. Don't worry about what any other person say. Go by what the Bible says, and you will be fine. Yeah, but if you say it's in the Bible, you know, like, if you say it's in the Bible, you know, like, if you say it's in the Bible, you know, like, if you say it's in the Bible, you know, like, if you say it's in the Bible, you know, like, if you say it's in the Bible, you know, like, if you say it's in the Bible, you know, like, if you say it's in the Bible, you know, like, if you say it's in the Bible, you know, like, if you say it's in the Bible, you know, like, if you say it's Biological father, was he saying metaphorically to father, if I call him a son, is he my son? Does it mean that I'm having an eye on the No, metaphorically. Jesus is the metaphorical son of God. That is not physical. It's not physical. But, but the Why you can't do the most? Uh, not, not really, because God is pure, so his true son would be pure. If someone's going to reflect their father perfectly, Jesus can do that because that's why we call him the metaphor of the Son of God. He's the Son of God because of, he deserves yeah. to be the Son of God. He he lived a holy life. He lived righteous. He brought the miracles that only God can do. He he rose the dead that only God can do. His his nature was a perfect vessel for the power of God to move. Because that's why he is the Son of God. So metaphorically, obviously God didn't have sex with nobody. Yeah, of course. He's obviously metaphorical. So that's why he is the Son of God. You can't deny it. You said as well around the Quran, where God actually answers that. So maybe he's talking about physical begetting, like having I sex. Mean, baby, God yeah. doesn't do that either in our Bible, but but he does have someone called the Son of God named Jesus Christ, and that's because he actually embodies and reflects the very character and the nur 
and the glory of the invisible God. You see, the, the God, hold, hold on a second, the God of the universe somehow has to make himself known to us, somehow. And who, how did he do that? Who did he do that through? Who? Well, we know who he did that. He did it through the Messiah. I love it. No, because no, no Muslim would say that God revealed himself in Muhammad. No one would say that. I don't worship him. No, no, don't worship him. That's good. But no one would say that. But one person is called the Messiah, and that's Jesus, even in the Quran. So he was, Jesus was anointed to bear the righteousness of God to us. He was the only one anointed for that. So that's why we call him the son, metaphorical son of God. Does that, does that make any logical sense? You understand it? Okay, hold that thought. Who is Jesus' biological father? God. Okay, but not, but not physical, biological. So in the sense, uh, not see physical. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. When you say biological, what exactly? When I say biological, what I mean is that he came from God. I understand. When he was biological, that he had sex. That's how you understand. It. Okay. How about this? Let's not use the word biological. Yeah, yeah. Let's use, <laughs> let's use the word spiritual. Amen. That's it. Amen. Who is who is who is who is the spiritual father? God. The father is God. Okay. Amen. Right. Right. So, so Jesus came forth. Jesus came forth from the Father, from God. I can say I can say that God is my Father. He's a Father. Now the only thing is that what proves that Jesus Christ is the Son of God is that His nature perfectly reflected who God really is. Amen. And no one else's nature Do did that. that. Amen. Mm -hmm. Except Jesus. That's why he's the only Messiah. No, that's why me. we that's why Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Absolutely. No one John 14, comes verse to God 6. but by me. And now if that's true, then why that's why I'm said, a, then why he even said, you know, in the in the in the in the other uh, in the other words, the name of Israel, Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved by God has been sent to you. A man, he was he's talking about his man. Oh, no. oh, no. Because he was a man. No, but he said that in other places, right? Like, John... Oh, no, listen, come on, I'm, I'm reasonable, man. I, I'm honest and reasonable. Why did God never say that? God said... No, no, no. Okay, but, but did, how many verses are in the Quran? Sorry? How many verses are in the Quran? 114 verses or, or, or surahs? There's 114 surahs in the Quran. No, no, the, uh, the verses you mean to say. How many verses? A lot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you're, you're quoting one verse from the Bible, and there's thousands of verses. No, but what I'm trying to say is, you said one thing and it's true. He's a man approved by God. I don't have a problem with that either. But that's not the only thing he said about this man approved by God. There's more to this Jesus. That is other, clear, clearly other verses. Imagine I were to take one verse from the Quran and say, Bismillah, you know, and, 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 and say, oh, he's only merciful. Well, then I would, I would say, oh, he's, you, you get what I'm saying? I totally agree with you. In that regard, I'm going to say that, you know, read the Gospel of John, where he says, you know, where he says, I have many things to, you know, to, there are some Muslim that wants to learn. There's some Muslim that just want to argue. Mm. So the ones that want to argue, I don't, I don't have time. Mm. I can, okay. I, I, will, I will answer you as long as you want these. Jesus, Jesus, here's a Bible, and it, you know, I, I go to the verse where the New King James version, but in every version, every translation says the same. But he says here. He says here, um, he says in verse 14, he says, I will pray the Father and he will give you another helper, a comforter, that he may abide with you forever. And he says the verse right after, the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans, I will come to you. So, I mean, if you, that's the verse you quoted. But it, but it says very clearly, I will give you another helper that he may abide with you forever. Forever. So, so here's, okay, so the we're, we're going to see what it says. No, no, no. Hold, Hold on, on, read on. it. Okay. In Arabic, it actually means... Okay. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
He says he'll be with you forever. <laughs> Is Mohammed with you forever? Forever, as in that's he's not in that same like you know, he's still with us in the way that we do not want to follow him. Okay. Is Muhammad the spirit of truth? No. no, we don't see him in that way. Like, because Jesus defined it, he said the spirit of truth. In terms of the spirit of truth, I don't know what you understand of the spirit of truth. I don't understand like what is the, the spirit of truth. Oh, yeah. well, he needs to talk into the mic. <laughs> I'm not pulling the mic. People <laughs> accuse me of that. But I don't no, you understand. You're okay. Okay, so he says, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him. him. So these people knew, know him, for he dwells with you. So this spirit, this comforter was dwelling with them. Was mm. Muhammad dwelling with them? Prophesizing, basically. So that means that. So you're saying that that that's what it means when he's dwelling with them. In terms of that, you all need him. That's the. Is a, is a, okay, and then it says, and and will be in you. So in is you. Muhammad living inside of you? Does any Muslim say that <laughs> Muhammad is, is? No, I, I don't know. I know what my understanding of that is, but but do you? Okay, it's the, well. Well, he explains well, my it. My understanding. All, he, he's saying he's saying right here, it's the spirit of truth. But that's not the only time he talked about this comforter he says here down below he says but the helper the comfort of the holy spirit so he defines it only it's called the holy spirit whom the father will send in my name now, was muhammad sent in the name of jesus <laughs> he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that i have said to you peace i leave with you my peace i give to you not as the world like uh, gives do i give to you let not your heart be troubled neither be afraid you have heard me saying, I, I am going away and coming back to you. If you love me, you will rejoice in Christ, and I am going to the Father. So it clearly says that the helper is the Holy Spirit. What's the Holy Spirit? It, well, that's what it says. That's what Jesus said. It's the Holy Spirit. The helper, the Holy Spirit. Oh, Amen. Praise the, the Lord. The Praise the Lord. Now, the now we're going somewhere. Uh, Hallelujah. That's Hallelujah. what the Spirit of God is. So when, so when, so when God breathed, no. Well, do you believe Muhammad is the Holy Spirit? No Muslim scholar would say Muhammad is the Holy Spirit. Muhammad's not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the presence of God, the power of God, mm -hmm. the person of God, right. sent to us to help us to live holy unto God. All right, you're the Holy Spirit. You're holy. You're perfect. You never made a mistake. Okay, well then, you have to prove it, man. But anyway, it says here, so you're the, you're, you're, you're the one that should live inside of us, can't you? It's a, it's a, it's a distraction. Okay, <laughs> so it says here, he will teach you all things and he will be sent in the name of Jesus. So he will be sent in the name of Jesus. So the Holy, if it's Muhammad, then Muhammad was sent in the name of Jesus. But if Muhammad wasn't sent in the name of Jesus, then there's only two things. The name of Confed. Oh, you said you said Muhammad was the comforter, and and the comforter would come in the name. It means actually. I know, but it, it says here. I know, but it says here that he, he will, the Father will send in my name. So what is the name of Jesus? Praise the Lord. That banner loves me. Yes. following of you know in terms in terms of Jesus Christ, you know, all his commandments and everything. No. Okay, so if you okay, so the only way you can you can kind of hold on to your position if you believe that Muhammad is yeah this one. So guys, this is a, what's this a debate? Oh. No, no, no. Nah, we're just talking. Nah. We're talking about Jesus, and he had a question, so I'm just answering a question for him. I don't have a time, but I can discuss this for a long, long time. I know it can go long. We've been here long, and we actually are supposed to be somewhere else right now. But uh, I'm just going to uh, finish up a discussion with somebody. My question. God bless you. That's okay. So all I'm trying to say is the only way we can reconcile that belief is this: is if if you believe that Muhammad is the Holy Spirit, if you believe that he was sent in the name of Jesus in whatever way, if you believe that that he Muhammad will live inside of you. If you believe that Muhammad was around at the time of Jesus and the disciples, if all of those criteria fit, keep keep up that. Amen. Praise the Lord. But if, but if, okay, I know you don't. So, so 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 here's what I'm saying. No 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 no. But 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 because that's not the case. You, the context clearly. The con the context. 
Okay, forget about Jesus being God. It clearly doesn't say that that's Muhammad. It says it's the Holy Spirit. If I go to like Solomon, Solomon. <laughs> Okay, do you, okay. I know you said you have to go. If you want me to open up that verse and look at it, we can do that. But, I know, I know. okay, so here's what I'm saying. All I encourage you to do is not just look at Muslim sources and not just look at Christian sources. Look at Jewish, Christian, and Muslim sources about that verse uh, um, where where it actually says uh, uh, that that it's translated lovely and look at the context and then make an honest decision for yourself. I don't believe it's talking about Muhammad at all, but if you believe that... In the Quran, we have heard the name of Jesus Christ. This can like 23 times together. 24 actually, or 25. But, it's, it's, but the problem is, 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 is the name of Jesus so even powerful. the Hebrew, the, even, even, even the name, even the, even the name of Yeshua. The yes. way that yes. if you were to use, if you were to say the word of Yeshua, the name of Yeshua in, in Aramaic or Hebrew, it's going to be it, Yeshua. It be Isa. Isa. So, no, 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 I know you're not far away. And that's why we're talking. And, and, yeah, well, that's why we're talking. I have nothing against you. you know, so, so here's what I'm saying. I know you are in some way. You know, we are in some way. It's human beings. But, but here, but, but, here, but here's, here's the thing. We just have to be honest. If you have no problem with the Bible and the Bible says there's only one God, then just be honest. Okay, so just be honest. Then just be honest. Just be honest with the interpretation, and God will lead us all in His truth. Thank you. God bless you guys. Amen. Amazing discussion with a, a, a person of another faith. Praise the Lord. Well, God is good. God is good. God is doing mighty things in barking. Roof, roof. <laughs> the truth will set you free. Hallelujah. I don't know who you are today, but there's so many questions that people have. So many thoughts that people have about life, about truth, about religion. They were all born in What's the meaning of Isa? What's the meaning of Isa? The meaning of the name Isa. Either bring us to a path of assurance with God. No, no. Uh, what was the meaning of the name Isa? I'm not a very religious. Okay. Then that means you don't know enough. You don't know enough to come here to argue. Go and read more. What is the meaning of Isa? And unfortunately, we don't refer him to as Muhammad. We all live. In this mindset, and most of us believe we're going to heaven, but according to the word of God, most of us are not. So why do we continue to why do we continue to smoke when we know it kills our lungs? Why do we continue to eat junk food when we know it doesn't benefit our body? Why do we continue to lie when we know it's gonna snare our conscience? Why do we continue to cheat? That means because of steel and do things that violate everything and destroy our lives. Why we're here today, and still hold on to the idea that we're going in the right direction. You know what that tells me? Most of us are deceived. Most of us are lost. Most of us don't know right from wrong anymore. And that's why we need the Word of God displayed, preached, propagated, and taught so that we can know the truth. The Bible says the truth will set you free. Don't tell me that the government is teaching you the truth today. No, it's not. They're teaching you that there's no such thing as genders anymore. We don't know the difference with anything anymore. So they're not teaching you the truth. We can't say Oprah Winfrey's teaching us the truth. Ellen DeGeneres is not teaching you the truth. Who's teaching you the truth? It means, even when you're trying to... If our government was... So concerned about our eternal well-being, a lot of things that are legalized today. That's why if we don't believe that strip clubs will be illegal, online prostitution, that you can commit adultery just by going online. And you can hook up with somebody tonight if you really wanted to. Some of you have used those apps. To do it. But in the Quran, it's the Isa, not illegal. But Isa does not, not illegal to sleep around before marriage. Because you're not illegal to cheat on somebody's husband or wife. It's not illegal.
In fact, it's considered normal. We believe in our culture to live out our emotions. Live to the fullest, they say. Enjoy life. How can you enjoy life if the very life you're living is destroying everything in your life? Makes no sense, does it? With this lack of sense, this illogical conclusion that we live by, unfortunately is embraced and held on to so strongly that when we hear the truth of the Word of God, we end up wrestling and I'm not a man, I'm a woman, sorry. I'm trying, I fell backwards. This message that I'm bringing to you, even though it might sound foreign to your natural mind, it's the message of salvation and it lines up with everything right and holy and Which preacher? This is a preacher too. As strange as it might sound, as different as it might be, because God is different than creation. But God is the one who created us in His image and His likeness. And if we follow the ways that God laid out for humanity, what's wrong with Pastor Jeremiah? Communities and families and marriages. We would have harmony again. The peace that you look for would return. I'm moving, guys. Sorry. Ever wanted? To see work would one day work. I'm here to tell you today things are not working because we're living in sin. We have turned our Is backs better, on guys? the very things that do work. We think we've advanced because of technology. We think we've come further in life by denying the words of God. But in fact, we've gone further away from happiness. We, we're, depression is on the rise. We have more drugs today, but it's not solving the problems. We have more knowledge on the internet, and yet we're, we're, more, we're more stupid than we ever have been. We have more university educated people than ever in history. And we still today can't say that there's a right and a wrong. We don't even know what the purpose of male genitalia is anymore. We don't know whether there's only a male and a female or what the purpose of a male and a female are or is anymore. And that's how advanced we've become. We're so advanced that if we keep it up, our communities are gonna no longer exist. Our young people are no longer getting married early. Our marriages are not having children anymore because we're so advanced. We're so advanced, we don't believe in the propagation of the human race. We're so advanced that we don't even know how to love anymore. We don't know how to secure a relationship anymore. The average person now has gone in and out of perhaps five to eight relationships sexually within their lifetime. Because we don't know what it means to live pure anymore. We don't know what trust is anymore. And Jesus foretold that this day would come. The day would come in the word of God that the love of most would grow cold. It's okay guys, if you can't People hear, hate one another. then I'd rather just record what you can Wars hear. Wars would no problem. increase, kingdom will become against kingdom. Because as a community we've turned our backs on the word of God. Peace only comes when you follow the Word of God. Peace will come in our communities if we follow the Word of God. Blessings come when we do what's right. You know, deep down inside, if you were to think about it, we all know this basic truth. We all know that when we do wrong, it brings wrong things in our lives. Eventually, we all know that when we do what's right, it brings a reward. Basic things that we all know. But we think we can bend the rules and somehow still make it work. That's like the common street thief, robber, who thinks that he can continue to rob and get away with it. And the man shaking his head. I don't know why. Because what I'm telling you is true. Good things lead to good things. Bad things lead to bad things. Is that wrong? Hold on, hold on a second. Is, that, is it wrong what I'm saying? 
I don't even hear you though, because I'm on the mic. I'm a hypocrite. Why am I a hypocrite? Well, you called me a name. Abby. You called Abigail. me a name. Abby. Sorry? Abigail, the girl. I'm calling you out because Abigail. you called me a name. Abigail, say hi. So what did I say that was false? But what makes me a hypocrite? I, you know, I don't understand why people call people names and can't defend it. I can defend my words, but you can't defend your words because there's no substance to it. You can't call someone a hypocrite unless you know something about them. You don't know anything about me. You don't know my name. You don't know how I live. But yet you're calling me a hypocrite. And so I ask you to defend your words, but you can't. Unfounded words. God bless you. How you doing? Sure, ask me a question. Can you show me in the Bible where Jesus taught on God? If you show me, I can't. Why? Because it's not there. Where is it? He said something close to that, if you want to hear it. He said, do you, do you want me to answer? Do you want me to answer? Hold on. Do you, do you, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. One talk at a minute. Do you want to hear the scripture that Jesus did say? You know, so there's a reiterative question. Do you know what I think? You don't know what I think. Okay, so so let's put what I think aside since you never asked me what I think. Now let me ask you. You, t you told me to show you a scripture. Jesus doesn't. There is no scripture where Jesus said clearly, "I am God, worship me." It's not there. So you're not gonna find it. Did Jesus ever say he was God in the Bible? Okay, because I'm asking you a question. Because you did. He never said that. Okay, so you have no problems with the Bible. I don't have problems. I just want to ask because the Christians, I respect them. I love them. I love them as well because I believe in them. So I want to ask because why Christians think that Jesus is God? Okay, good. So let me, let me explain now. So since Jesus never said, I am God, worship me, and you have no problem with the Bible. Okay, wonderful, perfect. So, what is the message of the Bible? This is what you need to focus on. The message of the Bible is that someone called the Messiah, you believe Jesus is the Messiah? Came into the world, he was born of a virgin, and his name means God saves. That's what. Hold on. I'm just telling you the message. Because the message. But the name that they gave him was Jesus. The name of Jesus means God saves. So, and he came with a message called the good news, which is what you call the Injil. It means good news. It's called the gospel. So, the gospel is good news. The good news is this. For God, the one true living God, the one true God, loves you so much. He loves you enough. Even though you're a sinner, and you sent the Messiah to be the Savior for you, to bring the mercy of God to your life. That's why his name is called Jesus. And so, so this is what Jesus came for. That's who Jesus is. And all I'm asking you today is if that's the message of the Bible, would you agree that what I just said is the message of the Bible? Forget that. We never said anything. If you agree that what I just said is the message of the Bible, that Jesus came, he's the Messiah, his name means God saves, he came with the good news, which is that God loves you and wants to save you through Jesus. The question is that I have for you is will you accept what Jesus did for you? Because that's why Jesus came, is to bring sal the salvation of God to your life. Now, if you would accept the mercy and salvation of God in your life, you can now receive the forgiveness and the light, the lure, and the hope and the power of God to live a holy life. God will give you His Holy Spirit so that you can live a holy life. Would you like to receive and accept that? I accept only for God. I believe in Jesus because Jesus is Did you hear what I just said? Does that make sense? 
Would you like to accept what Jesus did for you? Jesus, like, Jesus He's a messenger who came to bring you salvation. He gave salvation with the Jew. So I accept it. I know that he made it. But it's wrong. When you think that Jesus is a man, you need to explain that Jesus is a prophet from God. And he told, I will go to pray to my father. Yeah? So we're switching topics here. Jesus was a prophet. And this prophet came to bring you salvation. That's why Jesus came for you. Will you accept his salvation, his mercy? Will you accept what he did? Now he died for you, he was buried for you, and he rose for you. And if you accept what he did for you, you can be forgiven today. And when you accept the salvation of Jesus, you will have the life of God coming back into you. And everything else will make sense. Would you like to accept that and receive that today? This is a question to you. I receive only from God. If we don't accept this, we are not Muslims. So you you accept the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus for you? Yes. Okay. Well, Jesus give. Okay. If you accepted that Jesus died for you and you have no problem with the Bible, just go back to the Bible and continue to read what the Bible says, and and continue to read, and He will show you everything that you need to know. I know what I need to know, but Jesus told, now I can tell you all the truth because you are not ready. But after the time, the Holy Spirit will come on the earth and the Holy Spirit, it will tell you all the truth. So after that, it's coming. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you want to go in paradise, read Quran. That's my message, brother. I hope that you will find the truth. If you're looking for the truth, just read Quran. I don't tell you to believe, just read Quran and tell me that the Quran is wrong. And I will accept the Christian. Yeah? Okay. What if I told you I did read the Quran? I have. I'll, I'll tell you what I read. Okay? I read this that that the God in the Quran says to the Jews, and I think it's Surah chapter 3 or 4, when the Jews were debating about Abraham being a Jew, he said, you weren't there at the time of Abraham, so you have no right to talk about whether he was a Jew or not because you weren't there. Do you know that ayah? Do you know that verse of the Quran? You know the, No, but the verse that I just mentioned, do you know that one? You're not paying attention. Okay, so there is a surah in the Quran where God was saying to the Jews, you, you're arguing about whether Abraham was a Jew or not, right? But you weren't there at the time of Abraham. So you shouldn't talk about what you weren't there or what you didn't witness. Am I right? Do you know that? Do you know that verse? So what I discovered after reading the Quran is this. The Quran came 600 years after Jesus. Muhammad was not living in Jerusalem. Muhammad wasn't a Christian. Muhammad was not Jewish. The Quran doesn't have the Torah, Zabur, or the Injil in it. And so what I realized, it's very difficult for somebody to speak about something 600 years before who wasn't there, who... No, 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 I'm using the same logic that the God in your Quran used towards the Jews. Since the Jews weren't there to argue whether Abraham was a Jew, Muhammad wasn't there to tell and understand the true story of Jesus. So how do you know about Jesus? You know about Jesus through the Injil, the Bible. So if you want to know more about Jesus, I, if I want to know about Muhammad, I will read the Quran. No, no, let me finish. But if, but if you want to know more about Jesus, read the Injil. Read the Quran again. And you said you had no problem with the Bible, right? 
keep reading the Bible, brother. Okay, thank you. What did he say? Um, no, no, no. I mean, our, our discussion is, wasn't. I was just sharing about Jesus and about, um, and he came and, and said to you, if you want to know more about something, to read the Bible. But that's okay. It, it was. A, it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing. Yeah. I mean, the, the main message that I, that I want to share is actually it's actually right on that banner. It says, "For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God." Every one of us falls short of God's glory. And that's why God sent Jesus to die for you. So that you can find his salvation. He took your place. It's called forgiveness. And if you accept the forgiveness and the mercy of God, you can have the life of God and a relationship with God again. And so, all I, you know, would you today, listen, it's very simple. You just have to be humble and say, I need his salvation. I need your forgiveness. And he's going to show you something. He's going to say, you know what? I sent Jesus already. Huh? If you, if, you, if you would humble yourself and say, I'm a sinner and I need the forgiveness of God for your sin, for the bad things you have done. You, you understand what I'm saying? Forgiveness? Sin. Sin is when you do things that are violating the word of God. Or forgive you all of your sins. I don't have a hard time understanding, man. Do you know what I mean by sin? 